Well, my name is Larry Mike Levy. I'm a uh, technical marketing engineer for IPCBU and today I wanted to show you a technique that I use on one of our lab systems to allow a uh, phone call that where an invalid number is dialed or, or a number that that doesn't actually match any of the the dialing patterns or if a phone is simply taken off hook and no digits are dialed in both of those cases I wanted that phone to ring a particular phone number in my case it's 62018 this could be a phone, an attendant, um, a receptionist, uh, even an application that would react to this there are other ways to do this using JTAPI or TAPI if more complex interactions are required for, but for just basic interaction this is a, uh, an example that I found to work very well all of my phones are in a partition called phones and all of my gateways are in a partition called gateways and I normally use a calling search space called phones and gateways for all of my uh, phone devices the first thing I did for this change is I created a new partition called invalid call the idea being if it's a an invalid pattern I want to handle this specially I also created a calling search space called invalid call CSS which contains only the invalid call partition next I needed to set up some translation patterns the first translation pattern I set up is actually a uh, blank pattern there, there's no pattern configured this is valid this matches if no digits are dialed the partition is invalid call and the calling search space for this translation pattern is phones and gateways so if a phone is simply picked up it'll ultimately match this pattern and then in under prefix digits I actually hard-coded 62018 that's my destination and that will be reached using the phones and gateways calling search space just the normal calling search space I created another pattern which is the uh, exclamation or people call it a bang same thing it's in the it's in the invalid call partition same calling party transform mask and the bang pattern actually matches any digits um, excluding no digits for both the blank translation pattern and the bang translation pattern notice that I did not set the urgent priority bit urgent priority means to go ahead and route this call as soon as you have a complete match for this pattern if we didn't if we did check that it could actually cause some problems where it would actually route the call in situations where it shouldn't now this helps us with no digits or with any digits but we still need to deal with valid patterns so in my case my dial plan is relatively simple all my phones are of the form 62XXX um, my uh, enter site pattern is 88862XXX and then I have a 9 dot at pattern for gateway calls so what I did I had to create a 62XXX pattern in the invalid call partition again this is a translation pattern same basic setup as before notice I did check urgent priority this time and the transform mask is 62XXX so basically it doesn't manipulate the digits you dialed it simply takes you from a number in one partition and translates that to the phones and gateways calling search space with urgent priority so it will match as soon as it can I went ahead and did the same thing for my 88862XXX pattern it's very similar similar to uh, the last one again marking urgent priority and then for 9.at it's a little bit different I had to set the numbering plan um, urgent priority as I mentioned calling search spaces phones and gateways and in this case the discard digits are set to none and there is no transform mask so basically it passes through any digits you dialed which in this case are a valid uh, number in the North American numbering plan preceded by a 9 so now that I have these different uh, translation patterns set up I need to and the ones we're focused on here are the ones in the partition um, invalid call okay now that I have those set up what I need to do is actually configure those on a device so my target device today is a little software phone that I use for demonstrations and normally this would be phones and gateways 
but on this phone I set it to invalid call CSS so it means that this phone will be treated differently and we'll use this special handling for uh, basically abandoned calls or calls that didn't go through so first I want to show you normally if you leave a phone off hook like this after the interdigit timeout it will actually play a uh, uh, a message that says that it's a failure message either reorder or or a the number you dialed could not be reached but as you can see and maybe here it went ahead and, and sent that call to the destination that I went ahead and configured the other scenario is if you dial some digits but they don't actually yield in a valid pattern same basic rules apply normally in this case you would hear reorder but with the um, the call routing uh, configuration that I have here it will go ahead and ring through to the number I configured which again is 62018 now just to make sure that everything else is working fine I'm gonna dial a regular number and as you can see it dials as soon as the pattern is matched um, for simulating inter-site calls I can do the same thing and finally for PSTN calls Again, it does the same thing. Hope you enjoyed this and I hope you find this useful.